Okay, one mode of an ideal gas is compressed isothermally from four volume to one volume. The work done on the gas is 4.5 exponent 3 joule. Sketch a PV graph for this process. Calculate the heat transfer during the compression is the heat absorbed or released by the system and calculate the isothermal process temperature. Okay, so we need to identify, first of all, we need to understand the questions. Okay, so extract some information. We have one mole. Here, the only has one mole of gas. Okay, one mole of gas. And then, uh, ideal gas compressed isothermally. Compression, uh, this is about compression. Isothermal process, this isothermal process, so temperature is constant. Uh, temperature is constant. Uh, and then, uh, internal energy also constant. Delta U, zero. Uh, this is the first thing we know. The delta U, no change in internal energy. Delta U is zero joule. Okay, because temperature is constant. Volume decreases. You see, four four volume to one volume. So we can say this is the initial volume. Uh, we can put this as V one. This is V two. Okay, uh, V one, V two. Huh? Initial volume, final volume. Initial, final. Uh, this is the final. Okay. Work done on the gas. I see work done on the gas. I say on the gas. That means work done is work done on the gas because compression. You see that compress. Compress means volume decrease. Uh, volume did decrease from four to one. Four volume to one volume. Compression. Compress. That means uh, compression means um, you know work done negative. Uh, yeah. Work done on the gas, gas doesn't do any work. Gas doesn't do any work. But work is done on the gas. So we can say this work done also negative. The word the work work done on on the gas means work done negative. Or we can say compression. Compression is uh, volume decrease. Work done negative. See that? In my notes. Beautiful notes. Uh, see that? Uh, work done on the gas. That means the gas doesn't do any work. Uh, the gas doesn't do any work. Work done negative. Compression volume decrease. Work done negative. Remember that. Okay. So this one you should put. You cannot put. Oh, you cannot put. Uh, work done. Uh, po uh positive. Four point four. Huh? you cannot. You cannot just write work done equal to four point four. X. Uh, four point five exponent three joule. Ah, uh, this is wrong. This is wrong. Huh? you need to write. You need to write what? You need to write negative uh, because compression. You understand? Compression. The word compression here. Ah, you need to put a negative sign there. You need to put a negative sign there. Uh, so negative 4.5 uh, exponent 3 joule. Uh, then is correct. Uh, then is correct. If you put just work done equal to 4.5, wrong. Yeah, because this one becomes positive work done, which is not. Yeah, the, the gas does not do any work. Work is done on the gas. Huh? The gas does not do any work, so it's work done negative. Okay, compression. Work done negative. Alright, okay, so that's uh, sum up everything. So I need to draw a PV graph for this process. Let's draw it. So uh, how I'm going to draw. I need the axis. Okay, axis. Okay. Should be good. Get a little bit longer. Alright. So uh okay, what we have here is uh uh pre this is a PV graph la. pressure volume. You must also label the unit now. Huh? Unit. Do you say anything about uh, pressure unit? No. If no, uh, just put Pascal. Uh. Just put SI unit. Uh. If no unit. Uh, you've got atmospheric pressure, then you need to put atmospheric pressure. Yeah. If no unit, just put SI unit. Volume is meter cube. Uh, volume is meter cube. Uh. Need to put the unit. Uh. Zero. 
So isothermal process. Isothermal means constant. Uh, you have an isotherm line. It happened on an isotherm line. Okay. So maybe you can draw a few isothermal line. And draw a few isothermal line. So uh, you have uh, this isotherm line, isotherm line. So it happens only on the uh, one temperature lah. I can say only compression, right? Compression that means it goes from here to goes from here to here. So compress. Uh, it happens on the same isothermal line. Okay. Uh, so this is uh, we don't know what temperature this uh, we don't know what temperature okay uh, but we know the volume okay write down the volume so um, okay this is volume uh, vol uh, this is uh, considered as um, compression right for v through compressed to v uh, yeah for v, v so we can take this as v1 this as v2 lah. okay understand uh, so compress from 4v to v uh, isotherm line okay and he give you the work done on the gas so this one is the area under this graph uh, area under this graph Uh, is negative 4.5 okay uh, that's the area uh, so the, the this is the uh, this is work done negative because uh, why negative because the arrow go to the left that means it's compression uh, yeah this negative uh, work done so uh, this the, the area is the work done lah. okay uh, I think that's that's it. Yeah, mm, that's it for this uh, graph. Okay, pressure no need because not given. Okay, now let's uh, let's do for the next questions. Yeah, let's do for next questions. Okay, for B, I need to find out the heat transfer. So heat is called the Q lah. The heat transfer during compression is the heat absorbed or released on the gas. Okay. So first of all, look at here. This is isothermal process. Isothermal process. Isothermal process means iso temperature. So that means temperature is constant. Internal energy also constant because uh, temperature constant, right? So the change of internal energy should be zero. No change in internal energy. Uh, this is the most important. So based on the first law of thermodynamic, first law of thermodynamic, first law of thermodynamic, which is uh, the formula Q equal to delta U plus W. Okay, Q equal to delta U plus W. The delta U is zero because isothermal process. Delta U is zero. Uh, so Q equal to delta Q equal to W. Q equal to W. Uh, understand? Q equal to W. So, uh, this one W is uh, W. I told you already, this is compression, right? Compression work done negative. So, you should put a negative sign. Work done, you have a negative sign. Negative. Uh, negative work done. It's a negative work done. Negative uh, 4.5. Uh, exponent 3. Ah, uh, understand? Ah, uh, so Q is negative. Ah, uh, when work done negative, Q also negative. So what does this mean? What is the negative in Q means? When Q has negative, what it means? Ah, uh, it means when Q is negative, that means this is heat release. Heat release from gas. Uh, heat release from gas or heat loss heat loss from gas heat go out from gas understand heat released so not absorbed lah it's released lah heat release heat loss okay so is that answer let's look at the answer 
uh, hit release. That's correct. Yeah, hit release negative. Uh, correct. Good. Okay. Understand? Very simple. Now, how about C? Question C. Question C. What's the isothermal process temperature? Question C. So, uh, we can say this is temperature constant, right? When uh, isothermal process, uh, temperature constant, that means uh, this isothermal process, we say temperature is constant. I write down again. Temperature constant, right? So, that means only the pressure and volume changes. Because temperature constant, temperature constant, that means only the pressure and volume changes. So, become P... Uh, P1 V1 equal to P2 V2. Only this pressure and volume changes, temperature constant. Uh, so what is this law? This is called Boy's Boy's law. Boy's law. Okay. Do we need to find the pressure or volume? No need. <laughs> okay, never mind. So this is just extra information. Yeah, isothermal process is a Boy's law. Okay, now how to find the temperature? I guess we have we have, we have what value? We have the work done. Uh, I think from the work done we can find the temperature, right? What's the formula for isothermal process? Work done. Work done for isothermal process. Okay, let's find out. What's the formula for work done for isothermal process? Isothermal process, the work done formula, yes, and work done is NRT long. V final over V initial. Uh, so NRT long V2 over V1. Uh, so here we can find temperature. You see that? Uh, the temperature that we want. So let's find out. I just use a formula. Uh, isothermal process work done is NRT long V2 over V1. Okay. So we use that formula. Work done equal to, for isothermal process, is NRT long uh, v2 over v1 uh, this is like this is like you know this is like um, uh, v final over v initial but if you use uh, got another formula you want to use pressure also can pressure also can because the boy's law becomes what becomes uh, p1 over p2 uh, p1 over p2 uh, this is v2 v2 over v1 uh, so this formula becomes like uh, this B pressure 2 go below, V1 go below, so it becomes this. So you can also change this formula, become NRT ln uh, P1, uh, V2 over V1 is like P1 over P2, uh, P1 over P2. Uh, this one becomes what? This one becomes... Uh, uh, in, inverted, yeah, become inverted. So this one become like P initial, initial over P final. So, uh, but this one, uh, no, don't use the pressure, like use the volume, lah. Don't confuse yourself, yeah. Always use the volume because we like uh, final over initial, lah. Understand? Um, okay. So, uh, we also have the volume, right? Uh, so just substitute mole number of mole is uh, one mole, only one mole. Uh, the work done is a negative work done. We have a negative work done. So we must put a negative work done. Okay, remember to put the negative work done uh, because it's compression. Uh, compression. Uh, negative. Uh, you know, 4.5 exponent 3. Write that down. Negative. 4.5 exponent 3 joule. 1 mole, right? This is 1 mole. Uh, 1 mole of gas. So... Okay, and then R is uh, 8.31. You can find from this of constant. Temperature is what we want to find. And volume is, uh, you know, final over initial. Lah. Uh, final over initial. V2 over V1. V2 is V, ah, not for V. Ah. Uh, so it's V2 over V1. V2 is V. Uh, V1 is for V. See that? Uh, because it's, it is going from 4V to V, compression, you know. This, uh, this uh, process is a compression process. Uh, the volume decrease. Uh, yeah? uh, v, 4V to V. So V is uh, V2. 
uh, V is V2, not 4V is V2 ah. V is V2, so it's V2 over V1, so it's V over 4V. Uh, we must be careful with all this. Uh. It's V over 4V. Okay, V2 is V, yeah, because V V is final. V is final. Uh, so it must take final over initial. V over 4V, final over initial. Okay, uh, so your formula correct, only then you can find the correct answer. You understand not? If your formula is not correct, you use 4V over V, then you're wrong. And here you must have negative. The work done, it must have a negative because it's a compression. Compression. So work done negative. Uh, this one, it must be correct. This sequence also must be correct. Don't use 4V over V. It's V over 4V. You must know which one is final, which one is initial. Okay. Uh, this one is, um, uh, this is uh, final. This is initial. Understand? Uh, it's final over initial. Final V over 4V initial. Because compression, right? Okay. Uh, blah a lot. Yeah? Too much, a lot, or too much explanation. Okay. So, uh, let's calculate. Uh, now, we need to calculate. Uh, so, this is a ln a uh, V over 4V. Okay. Five three one, okay. Then negative four point five exponent three divided by the answer. Yes, I got the temperature is three nine zero point six two Kelvin. Ah, remember this unit temperature must be in Kelvin SI unit. Understand? Ah, so my temperature is in SI unit Kelvin. Not degree Celsius, ah, not degree Celsius. So is my answer correct? Uh, 390. Yes, 390.62. Uh, 390.6 kilo Kelvin. That's correct. That's my temperature. My temperature. Understand? That's my temperature. Okay, so I'm correct. Yeah, this is the, the solution. I hope you understand what I'm talking about. Okay? Uh, so hope you enjoy the lesson. Okay, bye-bye.